You know, as pastor, I am called to make decisions. That is my job. And I seek out those insights and I get guidance from those that I need, but then I make the decision. And it's not always going to be a popular decision. But I'm not called to be a popular priest. I'm called to be a faith-filled priest. I'm not called to be successful in my life. I'm called to be faithful. It is my job as pastor to teach. It is your job as parishioners to learn and to grow. It is my job as pastor to talk about the church, to preach the good news of Jesus Christ. And the good news of Jesus Christ oftentimes is very challenging. It is not always popular to preach the word of God. It's not always popular to live the word of God. And he said, dude, dude, dude. <laughs> I just looked at him and said, dude, you need to chill, man. Let's do those breathing exercises. Ready? Exhale. And the way that I preach and the way that I share is through real lived experiences. And my brothers and sisters, they are real lived experiences. These are not made up, trust me. Okay? And, and I know over the time, some of you are going to say, oh, that has to be made up. And let me tell you what, if you do as much traveling as I do, and you have the family that we have, um, they're, they're not made up. Okay, they're, they're, they're real lived experiences. And, and for some reason, I just have the eyes and the heart and the ears to connect it with Jesus. To be able to do just what Jesus did, and that was to be able to share stories, and they're called parables. Small things matter. Small things matter to Jesus Christ. Do you remember as Jesus was walking along and there were thousands of people pushing in on him? Okay, let's set the scene. Thousands of people pushing in on him. And all of a sudden, a woman just gets to him and just touches him and runs away. Right? Jesus stopped, didn't he? And he said, now, who touched him? Now, he knew who touched him. And don't you know, his disciples are like, oh, come on, we are on a schedule. Uh-uh, none of this today. Keep moving. Keep, I'm serious. They were his timekeepers. We're not going with Jesus. There's thousands of people. Just keep going. Uh-uh. Jesus knew that that woman needed this extra time. And he took the time. And he talked to her. And he energized her. And he healed her. Do you realize, my brothers and sisters, each time you come down this aisle, as you get up out of your seats and you walk forward, you are saying that you believe in the real presence of Jesus Christ. And not only are you saying that you believe in the real presence of Jesus Christ, you are saying that you carry that real presence of Christ within you. And you become an instrument. You become a vessel of Christ others. And Jesus Christ has that love for us. And we have to accept that love. We have to realize that even with our own imperfections that Christ extends that love and that healing to us. But unless we take the time to receive that love, we have to realize that God never forces anything upon us. There comes a time when we're called to look deep within our own selves and realize that it's not about us. That it's something, there's something much greater.